Wi-Fi LANs has been the core of the Wi-Fi industry. It is the premier Wi-Fi networking organization in the world. A industry unique opportunity to work with our partners and competitors cooperatively. The operators and sit together with chip makers, vendors, all those pioneers of the Wi-Fi. They're able to debate in Wi-Fi Alliance the best way forward. And come up with a solution that works for everybody. And it's very exciting to see something which starts in a conference room with a set of engineers in your company and say, oh, here are some cool technologies for Wi-Fi. And then, you know, five years later, see a program launch in the Wi-Fi Alliance. There's been so many things that we've been able to do to continue to advance the adoption of Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi Alliance managed to put together a really effective certification program. It created a name, it created a brand, it created a, uh, an interoperability testing regime that didn't exist. The Wi-Fi Alliance's interoperability testing with the standard really was the turning point of you know, creating this whole new ecosystem. It became a very successful area of the industry and it really helped grow the market. Uh, really, I think Wi-Fi Alliance has moved the industry forward by creating the industry. If it wasn't for the Wi-Fi Alliance, I think that the wireless technology would still be in the Stone Age. We all believe that this 802.11 technology had potential, and that's why we formed WECA and the Wi-Fi Alliance to really promote it and give it a voice and all that. But we never dreamed it would be this big. It went from a few companies to scores of companies. People were so excited. Wow, we made 100 companies. Then we hit 200. Then we hit 300, and now we're over 500. Very nearly in the future, you're going to see thousands of companies involved in the Wi-Fi Alliance. Wi-Fi Alliance has been critical in making Wi-Fi what it is today. We really scaled beyond the original MacFi interoperability promise to all kinds of new applications and technologies. And as a result, Wi-Fi is the most pervasive and adaptable wireless networking technology. If you look at where we are today compared to where we were 15 years ago, now we have dozens of different speeds. We have technologies that can go all the way from peer-to-peer to, -peer to large area, wide area networks. Wi-Fi has been so successful, we now have many regulators and policy people coming to us and saying, what do you need to be successful? And that was not something I ever would have predicted. We have terrific technology that just works. It gives a great user experience. Over 90% of the travelers actually believe that their number one hotel amenity is actually the availability of Wi-Fi. This would have been unimaginable just a couple of years ago. You know, the freedom that it, it gives us to be connected wherever we might be. That freedom is something that people all over the world just love about Wi-Fi. And how many technologies can really say they're loved by people? So I think the thing I'm the most proud of is the brand. The yin and yang logo, the sort of little black and white logo that you see everywhere, it's just become synonymous with Wi-Fi quality. The phrase Wi-Fi coined by the Wi-Fi Alliance is a cultural icon. It's become a noun in virtually every language. You see and hear it on TV, in sitcoms or in, you know, in dramas, the use of the phrase Wi-Fi. To be in an industry which is part of the lingo of society is, to me, you know, amazing. And when the name Wi-Fi was added to the dictionary, and then when we shipped over a billion devices, that really told me that we were, we'd gone mainstream, everyday people were using it, and we had really moved the needle in making people's lives better. You know, we've created this whole generation that's never seen a network cable. To them, getting their network connectivity and getting their apps to work is through Wi-Fi. You know, having a daughter that's 13 years old and Wi-Fi being the most important feature on her phone or a tablet. And I have my mother who's a couple of generations different and it's the same for her. And so to be able to share with them that I'm a part of it, uh, that brings me a lot of pride. I think the thing that makes me most proud of Wi-Fi is its ability to grow and evolve. The industry has managed to do this continual advancement of the technology while maintaining backwards interoperability. And that's a, that's a pretty phenomenal thing, and I think it's helped create a good user experience for people. The products that they bought 10 years ago can actually still work in a Wi-Fi network, and you can't say that about every technology that you buy. Wi-Fi has significantly improved the lives of people all over the world. It's playing a strong role, for example, in the developing world and providing connectivity where there are places that there isn't a wired infrastructure, for example. And I think that is really an example of how Wi-Fi will be a force for good in the future.
There's so much uh, to be excited about in our future. Uh, clearly, Wi-Fi is going to become uh, ever more present. The future of Wi-Fi is going to be all about continued growth. Reaching out to new classes of companies which haven't previously put communications into their devices before. And the Wi-Fi Alliance is allowing all of these companies to understand how easy it is with a standard like Wi-Fi to integrate new concepts and new technologies right into their devices. What I'm truly excited about, though, is um, IoT and IOE. So suddenly you're going to have not just your laptop and your smartphone and your television connected with Wi-Fi, but maybe your sprinkler system or your coffee maker or industrial applications that you use at work will also use Wi-Fi to exchange information. The difference will be is you won't even know it. It will just happen automatically. Things will connect, applications will launch, you'll just wander into a room and things that you want to happen with wireless connections through Wi-Fi will just happen. I can't imagine where Wi-Fi is going to go. Um, the places it's been in the last 15 years were unimaginable back then. So to even predict where it's going to be is, is impossible, I think. 15 years from now, I think Wi-Fi is going to simply be the very air we breathe. 